Hi, good morning everyone. Sophie Valencia here. So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please um, support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. And uh, as I have promised, for today's video, I am going to teach you how to hack film more ago. So I know this is not the first time that you will see videos, tutorials like this, but uh, I want to share it to you. If you are new to this channel and this is the first time that you will see this video, this kind of tutorial. So, so the first thing that you will do is to go to your um, uh, Google Chrome. Any web browser is okay, whether it's uh, Chrome, Mozilla, or uh, Opera Mini, it's okay as long as it's working and it has internet connection. And search for Filmora Key. So there are so many results here, you can choose whatever you want. So I'll get the first one and then uh, copy and paste the Filmora activation key here and then paste it on your sticky note so that it um, uh, you can use it anytime that you wanted and uh, you don't have to search it over and over on the internet using the internet. Okay, so the next thing that you will do is to open your Filmora Go and let's try to edit one video and try to export it and then Let's try if the license key that we have copied from the web will work. Okay, so let's say that we have edited this video and we will export it. So make sure that your connection is, internet connection is disconnected. And then we will try to export it and activate. So if you can see it here, if you have a license code, please click here. And then we will copy and paste the registration code that we have copied from the web. And then click activate. Okay, so when there, when there sure Filmora has been registered, click OK and then now we can okay so as you can see it directed me to the internet which means that Filmora Go will try to detect if it's it belongs to you or not or if it's stolen so let's close it and then you can modify the settings the name of the video and then um, where do you want to save it I usually save it on my desktop for me to easily find it whenever I finish a video. So you can also modify the settings, the, the default settings here. And uh, export, let's try to export it. So as you can see here, it's already exporting. And let's see if it has watermarks after exporting. Okay, so it's done. Let's let's no, let's close and let's see it on the desktop. Okay, so this one. Okay, so as you can see, it has the modern parts. Because if it has watermarks, it's in the center of the video, it's quite big, and you're going to see your face anymore. <laughs> okay, so that's it, guys. So if you have learned something from this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. And for the next video, I am going to teach you how to set uh, multiple cameras using OBS for your live streaming on Facebook. Thank you so much, and have a great day, and I hope to see you again next time on my next tutorial. Goodbye!